Yeah. He finally got a war. <laughs> Don't you find a little more satisfaction though about winning matches like this than the easy ones? Yeah, it's a final. You, you I mean, you want a war, you want a great battle. Obviously, he's a hell of a player, hell of a player on the service, hell of a player in general. Um, they say he was 23. I didn't know he was younger than me. And well, he's and good. He he's good. Hell of a you all don't know it too well, but you know, he obviously has grown up on clay. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. But the, I, saw, I saw him a little bit. He played Andy. He played Andy really close to Danny Wells and. Had a tight match uh, with Kashinov in Miami. You know, I'm student the game. I, you know, follow a lot. So um, to see him, to see him do that, I knew I knew it was gonna be tough. And um, yeah, so it's unbelievable stuff. Uh, the ace that ended it. Talk about the shot. I mean, it's kind of fun to end with an ace, right? Yeah, yeah I mean, we had <laughs> it's a long, emphatic. Yeah, we had a lot of long points there. I was like, I was like, I want to go wide. I was like, I'm missing that a lot tonight. Um, he knows I'm probably gonna go to. Yeah, I gotta hit a spot. So I was like, regardless where I'm going, I was like, I just hope it doesn't come back. And I had a great spot there at the end. So no, you, hit it, you hit, literally landed you literally on the tee. hit the spot. So yeah. Yeah. see you next time. Okay. How, so how high can you go, Francis, in the rankings? How good can you be? <laughs> we'll see, man. I'm I'm 11 right now. Um, we'll see. I'm very I'm very much a guy. Is is where my feet are. You know, I'm currently 11 in the world, and uh, we kind of move from there. And just continue on this crazy journey, continue on this crazy thing we call life, and, and keep pushing. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you. Come back and see us. Thank you. Thank you. How would you uh, rate your performance today? I thought I played well. I thought I played well all weekend. Uh, to finish a tournament in two days is is crazy to think about. Um, but I thought I played great. I mean, I, I mean, got broken once in four matches. Um, I mean, obviously, it's a tough customer. You made, made finals of a... 250 a little bit ago in Santiago, and um, and he competed all the way through. Uh, you know, I blinked there at 5-4, but other than that, I, I thought it was, I had a pretty squeaky performance all weekend. Um, I thought I played great tennis. I thought I was very much uh, locked in, and I didn't give guys much, but um, I blinked there for a second, and, and he definitely had a chance. And, um, he made me work for it at the end, which, which made it even sweeter. Could you compare real quickly your win at Del Rey and this one? Uh, I mean, this one definitely hits a lot better because um, I understand the moment. I mean, when you're 20 years old, it's kind of just you're just kind of doing the do. It's um, I, I barely really remember. It's five years ago. Um, a lot's happened from then to now. I'm a different person, different individual, different part of my life, and um, it was kind of annoying every time I get announced. You know, my one title Del Rey, so I'm happy I get to add another one to the board. And um, but it, it's it's this is huge um, for me. Going forward, he's finishing weeks, right? Uh, finish on a Sunday with a win and be able to drink and have that as a win. And, um, you know, lost a lot of finals, tough finals and 500 and stuff. And, um, you know, hopefully, hopefully this, uh, this helps me going forward. Francis, on the verge of a top 10, I guess that's a dream come true or a step in, in the ladder and you want to climb? Yeah, for sure. You know, I'm 11 in the world. Why not want to get in the top 10 and uh, top five and Angus, Angus carry on and so, so on and so forth. And, I'm just gonna keep going. You know, I'm in, I'm in a very curious stage of my career to see how far I can go and and you know what uh what this game has to offer for me. Um, I still feel like I have a lot to give to this game. Uh, I know my capabilities and we'll see. But uh, it's it's been one crazy journey the last eight nine months. It's gonna be something special. I don't know when was the last time two Americans if you get there with Taylor at the same time. It's a long time. Wow. It's crazy. I mean, tennis, American tennis is in a great place, anyways. Um, you know, if, if it happens, I mean, Taylor both in top ten, great. Uh, Tom's gonna get in there soon, and Sebi's a great player. Once he gets healthy, he's gonna get, he's gonna be in there soon. He's one of the best players in the world, hands down. And mm, I mean, I think American tennis is probably in the best place it's been since, obviously, that era, right? So everyone's just complaining about American tennis. Who's gonna be the guy? There's a lot of great guys who's playing great tennis. You know, you also have Ben, who's who's super raw, and he's he's gonna be on his way soon. So American tennis is a great place, and let's just. Uh, you know, stop saying who's who's going to be the guy and is American tennis going to be on the spot because still guys like Novak Djokovic are winning everything anyway. So um, I, don't, I don't, it doesn't really matter what your flag is. You mentioned that uh, at the end of the match that you were learning, still learning about Thomas' game. Um, how did you adjust during the game, during the match, to his game? To what adjustments did you do to the game? I thought, I thought I started returning much better. I mean, I you know in the beginning of the match he was holding kind of easy. I mean, I. 
I think it could have been a different match. I'd have loved to return um, a 1-0 to get a break early, um, miss it long, and, and he ended up holding it and just kind of like on serve, on serve, and, and obviously serve for the match. But um, I mean, he's tough. I mean, he, he, he competes every point. He's, he's very, very professional. I mean, he stayed with it every single point, and he made me, he made me run it. And that's what you want in a final. And uh, on this surface, and I've seen him play, I mean, he's very professional and really good player. I'm 23 years old, and I, I think he's going to be around for a while. And he's going to produce some good stuff. Top 30, some potential, top 20, I mean, whatever. Um, I mean, everyone's beatable now, so why not? In the first set tiebreaker, it was a 5 1 to you. Probably one of the best yeah, tiebreaks I've ever played. That was good. Probably one of the best tiebreaks I've ever played. I, I mean, I. Everything made sense in that tie break, so um, I had some great shots, and um, yeah, I wish. Uh, Remember the probably, five probably one, second best. The five one break. before you change sides down the line, a passing shot to end the rally. You <laughs> ran towards the chair and you sunk on it. Exactly, exactly. I think I broke the chair. I actually, <laughs> I actually uh, heard a noise when I sat down. I was like, oh shit! But um, I'm, the max is still not over. But uh, it is what it is. Does it help your game to pump with the, you know, the adrenaline of the for people? For sure, for sure. I mean, because I got them up and I hit a return win in the next point, right? So um, it definitely, it definitely riles me up and I get really excited. And um, look at the end, they were entertainment. And, you know, people paid their hard-earned money to come watch. And so, you know, I'm, I want to win. I want to win not only for myself, for my family, um, for my girlfriend, for everyone who's really close to me. And um, But, yeah, I still want to put on a show for guys. Uh, they could be doing anything else. It's, it's Easter Sunday. You could be doing, doing anything else. We decided to come watch Brent Steele for us. So, you know, uh, I feel like go and enjoy it. You know, I love this game. It gave me so much. Well done. It's good. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Brent. Thanks, Thanks guys. <laughs>